if you don't commit to a new way or something different in your life, things are just going to stay the same. Nothing is going to happen until you commit to make things different. It's as good as it gets. Maybe you're not ready uh, for change. Maybe there's, you know, talking to, to change uh, to yourself is like talking bloody, um, you know, as an Australian Arabic, you know, or um, Latin. Like, yeah, may, maybe, maybe, you know, um, what, what, change, change what? No, that, that's what I would have... Um, that would have been my response uh, 30 years ago. Change. Wake up to yourself. Change. Don't have to change. It's everybody else's problem. It's not my problem. Everybody else is the reason why I, uh, I am the way I am. And I do what I do. Uh, don't swear at me. There's no need for change. Like I remember um, uh, when I was in Bogger Road. Um, uh, for the last time, and uh, when when I went up to that jail lawyer, um, uh, what one thing one thing that used to surprise me about so called jail lawyers, um, they were in jail. So, I, I I I don't know about their professional credentials as far as um. Uh, what what they uh, are stipulating that they are in prison, but um, yeah, um, maybe they need to look for a different profession. But anyway, um, uh, when when he looked at my uh, criminal history after I asked him to do a bail application uh, in the Supreme Court in Brisbane, when he uh, when he looked at the criminal history, he called me back up to the fence the next day. He said, mate, there's not a friggin', there's not a court in this land that's going to give you bail, dude. Look how many times you run away, mate. Have you got any money? I said, I've got two bob in my um, in my prison account. He said, well, you're going to need a little bit more than friggin' two bob to get out. So I go back up, up and see him the next day, and uh, he said, uh, have, have you ever thought about a, a rehabilitation centre, mate? I said, don't swear at me. <laughs> don't swear at me. You know, I'm even laughing at it. Don't swear at me. Um, but that that was my level of commitment to uh, to, to anything that uh, is uh, well, and unfamiliar to me, and anything new. I was so threatened by a possibility of a new way of thinking, new way of developing, and a new way of seeing. Um, I, I, was, I was threatened by change, very much so. Very threatened. I was, I, I was so ingrained into the negativity I was displaying and and the mayhem on um, on society and the general public um, I was so friggin empty within you know I, I, I didn't have anything the only thing I had was uh, selfishness uh, uh, lack of empathy um, not confident very insecure um, very uncommitted to try um, a new way and not being committed to have the ability just just to be committed to this would be a, a, a good thing for, um, for for most people to adapt in a life and listen uh, 
if you don't want to adapt, that's fine too. But if if we can arrive at being aware that we do fear change, just that. And, you know, you might be out there saying, oh, I don't fear change, I, I, I don't fear this. Well, okay, well, are, are you doing something that's really unfamiliar at the moment? Are, are, you, are, are you doing something that you, you, is different to yesterday? If, if we're going to if we're going to defend that position, saying that we are changing all the time, well, just make sure that you, your actions are representing that. Don't fool yourself. Don't say one thing and do the other. And that's got nothing to do with any other human being. That's about you. You, know, you, you, you owe it to yourself to, uh, to follow through on everything that you say to you to the best of your ability and even if you don't follow it through seriously if if you don't follow it through it's okay it's okay not to follow everything through but just be aware you know the um the more aware that we um we fear committing to that just that um and another thing it, 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 that would help uh being aware if um you, you're judging and criticizing other people and using other people as an excuse uh, that's that's a big one with um not committing to try a different outlook or a different approach to your life and it's going to take a commitment. It, it doesn't matter what you do. If you're, if you're seeking change, like how far do you want to change? You want a couple of affirmations out there and you want to read them every day. And if that's your level of change and if that works for you, that's good. But there's a practical side of it also. And, um, you know, continuous real change and getting comfortable with that is an everyday occurrence. It's not one thing. It doesn't stop. You know, being committed to a, to a new way, it, it never, ever stops. Because when you enter that commitment, then that commitment requires you to keep putting yourself out there. It requires you to keep feeling vulnerable. It requires you to feel out on the limb. It requires you to not know what's going to be the outcome. It requires you um, to act differently than what you acted uh, a few minutes ago or yesterday or, or, or in the past. It will actually require you to to do it. And, and that's what you commit to if, if that's what you want. If that's what you want. And if you don't want it, well, that, that, that's fine too. There's no, um, there's, you know, the, the, the rainbow at the end um, is not always there for everybody when, when they have to go against their own belief system and against their own grain and against their own um internal dialogue and they're, they're, what they've been brought up with. But what I'm, my, my point is, is that if that has not served you 100% in your completion and what you're doing on this earth, maybe you need to uh, uh, revisit this and maybe, maybe you need to take a different approach. But if it has served you and, you, and you're comfortable and happy with where you are, well, that, that's fine. And it's fine the other way too. Again, it's a commitment to a new way. You don't have to go a new way, nor does a new way. Um, it, it, it's not going to always equal peace. As a matter of fact, the more knowledge uh, we attain, um, the more we have to manage, the more information enters us, the more open we become the more we have to uh, dissect and uh, evaluate and um, process.
So that commitment to a new way, it made it, it it comes with um, it it comes with different responsibilities. It it, it comes with the. Um, responsibilities in uh, in in the commitment side of it that that's what it comes comes with and and if if we're not committed to change what we were doing yesterday and the day before and the day before that and you're whinging and you're whining today well really really seriously come on don't fool yourselves. Do something about it. If you can do something, well, not if, if you will do something about it, then your life will have to take a different course of events. Because you're the creator of your life you create your life you create your life by your decisions and you create your life um, through how you're being conditioned and what you challenge in your mind and how you behave and and, and how you act um, you're the maker of your world and you've made your world by your, your views, your opinions, um, your beliefs, your, how you've been conditioned, how you've been brought up, your environment, it's, it's all shaped you. You can unshape that any way you want. You, you can step right away from all of it, if you want, and you, and you can do something new. Um, and doing something new is is exciting. You, you don't know what's going to come when uh, you, you do something new. It's very exciting. It's unfamiliar. But there's one ingredient that is essential to be consistent in a new way and it's 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 commitment it's commitment to don't be critical it's commitment to be aware of uh, your behaviors towards uh, other people and, and and yourself and it's a commitment to uh, your, your passion and, and well hopefully by, by making the commitment to to go after a dream or, or, or a goal or, or a passion or, or, or a desire uh, ho hopefully you got one there hopefully there is something there hopefully you're doing it right now um, and don't give up don't give up and your level of learning it, it will you know will, will just keep expanding when you make the commitment um, to be responsible and when I say responsible and not blame people for your situation you, you're going to go through venting and blaming a little bit but yeah bring it back to its common denominator in your quiet times keep talking about what your struggles are and getting over things and uh, forgiving people uh, that have harmed you don't try to put other people down, encourage people, support people, support others, uplift people, a positive affirmation, give, give positive feedback to people, give negative feedback to people also because if they're intelligent, they'll take it. They'll take it. There's a, there, there, there's a, lot, there's a lot in it. And being commit, committed to, 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 to respect yourself and overcome yourself and do something about your struggle and, and seek help um, and continuously seek help. Be humble, you know, it's, it's really important.
humbleness is really, really important. The more, the more humble we are, uh, the, the, the more we see. And the more quiet we become, um, the more information is, is given also. So, yeah, it's, it's a commitment to try a new way of thinking. It's a commitment to challenge your behaviour. It's a commitment to take responsibility for yourself. It's a commitment to own your life. Um, and it is your life. You've created it. Um, with with the fabric of God, of course. God's always in there. Yeah, I've got a I've got a YouTube channel. It's um, I, I I put the link on here. I've got also um, I, I brought out a, a a book, a great book, according to all the um, the thousands and thousands of readers. Uh, King hit book. Uh, you can find that. You can purchase that now at uh, www.kinghitbook.com and uh, Facebook, King Hit Book. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. Um, yeah, what's, what's your thoughts on commitment? What's your thoughts? I'd be interested to know. Hit the bell. Uh, subscribe uh, if, if you like. And, um, and and on top of all that, have um, have a great Tuesday. It's uh, it's good to be alive. And uh, yeah, God bless. Take care. Thank you.